What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Oh, it is your boy Kiss, man. Shout out to Street Certified News. Yo, what's your boy El Hitter, Mr. Oh, yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, this your boy Bum J. We rocking with Street Certified News. Peace out, great. Cuz is reaching. Nigga, my auntie on the word crib, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. I ain't take nothing from Big U, nigga. I hopped on with P Nice and Big U, and we got down to the bottom of all that. And just like the big homie said, gang, P Nice, if you was my little homie target, intended target, because you would have been gas. Like, I just don't, I'm not finna keep explaining myself. Cause nigga, I heard him, uh, nigga bickering behind the scenes about him choking me up. I'm on the dead homies, nigga. Why is you telling the niggas you choked me and said something about it? Hey, bro, one plus one, it, it never happened, cuz. On the dead homies, it never happened, cuz, on hood. With all this bullshit going on with, with big homie names We ain't finna make this one of them. No, 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 never that, never that. I just wanna all put right, this- All right, so up. what was you about to say? We can't just keep talking about cuz, though. It's so much drama in the LBCs. It's trying to all be a Snoop Dio double jack. <laughs> They got my name in the middle of everything because I'm that nigga, man. And I can't, it was at a time where motherfuckers didn't know Brick Baby and didn't want to, didn't speak on Brick Baby. Now everything I say shake the world, man. I'm in a great position. I don't know, you know what I mean? For these other niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they can't handle it. Me, I'm from the most hated anyway. I'm from Rufus Scavenge Crafty, nigga. I'm the hood. Like, nigga, 6 up. I don't give a fuck about that. Niggas already know how I deal with problems, bro. That's why they bring it to the internet. So it is the brick, not the trick, man. You already know what it is, man. What's going on, smoke? And we just want to jump right into it, man. Look, how you doing mentally before we even get into the bullshit? Cause you know it's coming. Uh, shit, it's <laughs> cold. I'm cold and dealing with what I be dealing with. You know what I mean? Um, uh, kids just started back to school. It's colder, man. You know, I come from like a trauma filled background. So it's like, as long as I'm ticking up, living, moving around, like I'm in Florida right now, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? As soon as they say you can't go, we get to run around that bitch. Seems like that's your outlet. Seems like uh, the traveling is your outlet. Yeah, I think that any great. Uh, leaders should travel and it should be their outlet because that's when you link up with the other leaders across America. It's just like uh, uh, politicians and shit. If y'all move around, you, 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 you won't know what's going on in the world in order to elevate. You know what I mean? You keep yourself trapped in the one area. Where your mind at right now with, uh, with the LA? <laughs> No facts. We all wait. We all we already know that mind stay here, man. But we're gonna mind it right now with the LA scene, bro. Like it seemed like you know y'all got it, but it just seemed like the LA scene ain't what it used to be at this moment because it's so so much drama and shit going on. It's so much drama in the LBCs. It's trying to all be a Snoop D O Double J. Nah, facts. but uh 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 uh. I mean, LA is 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 Crips in the barrel. Gang of crabs in a barrel, gang. Oh, uh, that's like the social hierarchy out there. Like, oh, uh, hate your way to the top if you don't got no money. Like, niggas, this is the thing. Nobody is supposed to be successful if they not the toughest nigga in the neighborhood. And then the toughest nigga in the neighborhood is not even really tough. You get what I'm trying to tell you? Like, that's supposed to be me, cuz. That's for all. Oh, cuz, cuz, don't do this, cuz, don't. Hey, bro. Oh, six, so oh, crib. You niggas, like, 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 these niggas don't even live in the same era that niggas was boogieing down in. You know what I mean? When I grew up. So it's like, ain't nobody gonna fuck with nobody from another hood that they don't get along with. And then if a nigga, the most cracking nigga in his area, gonna look down on the other up and coming artists in his area, I think I was like, one of, I'm like one of a kind. I came home and, and, and boosted the score, the score gang shit up. Like, nigga, I came and got all my little niggas that was rapping from the set. Shout out Udall. Shout out New Jack. Nigga, even J-Bone. I 
came and got J-Bone. Shout out J-Bone, uh, Lil Killer. I think everybody that was rapping was at the studio with me. Cause baby, you, shout out my, my that's that's nigga backbone, my heart. You know, my little nigga cuz on six up. Uh, Cubby going in and out of it, though. But that's my low cuz on hood, baby, you. All them niggas. I'm talking about when I first came home. Nigga, I got an air CNC, nigga, with the studio inside that motherfucker. Nigga, I put the studio inside the air CNC. We two weeks in the CNC. Getting it in. We nigga go get the studio downtown. We there every day. I go sign my deal with, with, with Sony Publishing. Nigga, now we got Paramount. Then we got Sony ATV in Atlanta. I'm flying niggas out. Like, but I got my game from the A when it comes to looking out and supporting other people and wanting to see them at the top too. Because it, it, nigga, you could go to the top and it'd be lonely at that motherfucker. Just you and your pack, or you could put everybody on around you. You know what I mean? If they mentally ready to be put on. See, that's what I said. Some of the people that I went to go grab wasn't mentally ready to be put on. Not all of them, but some of them wasn't. So it kind of was shaky because you got a nigga who has all the talent in the world and he slide with, with, with me and then niggas is mad that I came home and bought the hood together. So they whole agenda is to get me out the way because baby shitty is the one who then wiped the hood down and took Nipsey from us, but nigga, he took a Nipsey from everybody. He didn't just take, you know what I mean? Nigga, I wasn't involved with that, but that got a lot to do with uh how niggas speak my name and all that cover. But niggas, niggas don't want no type of static when it come down to the static. Niggas want internet drama. I give you that all day. Niggas don't want static. Uh, they gonna tell you that out their mouth. They gonna tell you that out their mouth. They don't tell you that out their mouth because he's a lying bitch. And everybody want to fight, nigga, because they know I got shot in the neck, nigga. Don't nobody want to do nothing else. Yeah, we can still squabble, nigga. I immaculate squabble, nigga. I look, four years in the county, nigga. I probably lost like one fade. Um, six so if that. The newest thing I've seen was this uh D Dub situation. I just kind of want to ask you a little bit about that because you know, to the world, it's uh one thing but it's always different when it's coming from the source do you feel like that was a genuine relationship or do you think it had motives from the start oh man it was genuine we ops it was genuine we tried to make it work it didn't work yeah you know i mean like however it started they want to blame it on me go ahead nigga. i ain't the one that dissed the hood first then he just be going on tough guy rants, like, boy, stop. Like, on the dead homies, like, nigga, stop. Y'all never pressed me about nothing nothing that y'all had rolling over there, nigga, on six up. And if anybody was going to do some pressing, it was going to be me and the homies. You know what I mean? Like, period. Motherfucker. You know, I mean, he's starting the podcast, so it's like I'm giving him an alley-oop even talking about him right now. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you just want some traction, so beep with the brick. That's the world method. So, you know what I mean? He talking about I lie and do all that. Nigga, that's on my four kids to die right now, nigga. Anything that I said, I double down on, nigga. I never said that I just be in his face calling him a tramp. You get what I'm saying? I never said that. I never tell you. I, that's not what was said on a phone call. But, nigga, on the dead homies. If I was feeling that way, nigga, that'd be what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? Sure. Like I said, Gordy slipped up three or four times right there. I said tramp on live. I told him I wasn't tramping one day on the phone. Like, you trying to look tough in front of niggas. Like, like boy, stop it. You's a big, buff, soft nigga, bro. We know. You going to fight. You going to do whatever you going to do. Like, we can go down all the little shit because if it was really that cracking, nigga, you way bigger than me. Get off, nigga. Or was you that broke to where you needed the money? I don't know because I know you niggas didn't like me ever since I called y'all hood off brand. And y'all so weird that a motherfucker don't even know the, the, the definition of off-brand because, nigga, when I hopped on the phone, see, me and P-Nice, I hopped on the phone with P-Nice and Big U, my big homie. You get what I'm saying? So we got to the bottom of it, nigga. The word tramp wasn't even established to this no insanes or all trades. It was strictly for the A-trades, nigga, when we start beefing with the A-trades. Everybody else who was off branch or off brand jumped on they bandwagon and start taking it offensive. At that case, it was still four trades around. It was still it, it was still Broadways. It was still all that that we was dealing with. So it was like we wasn't beefing with Crips was Crips. 
until everybody built that alliance. So, you know what I mean? A motherfucker not knowing that history or whatever the case is, but even me, though, I, I, I didn't even know that, but I hopped on with P-Nice and Big U, and we got down to the bottom of all that. And just like the big homie said, gang, P nice. If you was my little homie target, intended target, because you would have been gassed. Like, I just don't, I'm not finna keep explaining myself. He never once said nothing about nobody ever once said nothing about insane when I was in the act of doing some dumb shit to somebody else, cut grabbing. You get what I'm saying? If a nigga look at the camera, I'm doing this the whole time. Like, nigga, I'm putting cub back. Like, oh, I ain't want to blow the homie down on no accident because at that point we was cordial. I'm not about to do that. He's like, your daughter here, nigga. I know it looked tough, but it was yeah. a tough brother thing. Like, nigga, you never said nothing about insane in front of me. So, you know what I mean? I'm not going to. And, and then me and cub, we already vouched to not even start no extra bullshit behind that it is what it is. Nigga, go on with your life. Didn't nobody get hurt. Whatever the world want to think, they going to think anyway. The show the influence to be out song everybody can see from point a to point c you get what i'm saying and with that being point b so you'll see what happened before that everything with nothing clipped out nigga ain't never now dw came out late it might have looked to him that p nice was on some bullshit but the whole time the reason why dw tell him let him go i'm like hey bro i got my thing because i'm hood i don't want to blow your brother down like come get it or tell cut it back up so i can fix it he said yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, too. like I'm Everybody talking to him while he yelling at me. I'm talking to DW. Like it was never no threat. And then Gordy, ten times bigger than him, he's standing right behind you. But he was just letting him do that. Yeah, I mean, these niggas gotta just put put logic together. They want a nigga to be, oh, he ain't this, he ain't that. Boy, I'm the nigga. That's why y'all keep on saying my name. Y'all keep having my dick in your mouth, nigga, because I'm the nigga, boy, and I ain't gonna say it nice. Hey, listen, D-Dub clarified and, and basically vouched for what you just said right there about the thing falling down the pants. He he said that. So in all reality, he didn't like, push, but they say they pushed it down. Nigga, I pushed my blick down, nigga. Oh, nigga nobody touched me. Man, you can watch, like I said, watch play by play. A nigga who lies, story changes up. Just go back and play every time that they said something about the story. The liar is going to have a different story every time. Go back and play every time I talked about the story. I mean, I heard I'm the one that said, cut, yoked me up from the get go. He did. He yoked me up. I don't know. Disrespectful shit. We wasn't beefing. Now he waits till we beefing. I sent him that. Because, nigga, I heard him, uh, nigga, bickering behind the scenes about him choking me up. I'm on the dead homies, nigga. Why is you telling niggas you choked me and said something about that saying? So I sent Cubs that video. I mean, yeah, he said that too, though. He said you sent it to him, and honestly, my my first look on it because I've watched the video, man, a hundred times. Because once they said what uh P Nice supposedly said, I was looking for it, and I'm like, man, all I hear is some yelling and the nigga saying something about your daughter. So I never heard anything about the the hood thing. But then again, like it's so loud in there, you can't hear shit. So what you yelled at me about my daughter and whispered your hood? <laughs> What is we talking about here, bro? One plus one, it, it never happened, cuz. On the dead, homies, it never happened, cuz. On hood. Nigga, did I stop Gordy from saying Trump three times while we was at work? We could add Gordy in. You get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna add him in, but nigga, we could add Gordy in. Nigga, maybe DW didn't hear it. I didn't say he said it to his face. DW didn't hear it. What I'm telling you is, nigga, he about 10 feet over here, 15 feet that way. And me and Gordy, Gordy about five feet from me. So y'all 20 feet away from each other while it's going on. I'm looking at Gordy like, damn, cuz we finna have to squabble these niggas cuz on six up. Like, nigga, right. watch your mouth. I wasn't saying it like we was over there on cuz. I'm telling cuz, watch your mouth, cuz on six up. Like, nigga, you know what I mean? Cuz talking about he ain't I. Oh, we lied about I even let him lie. On six up, crib, nigga, you let me lie about this in your hood. What part of gay is this? And you let me lie about this in your hood? Like, nigga, I never this insane anyway, nigga. But yeah, I slipped up and said tramp. Like, nigga, 610. Nigga, that's my favorite word. Fuck, I'm finna, like, that's my favorite word. Nigga, I'm from rolling six. We, everybody, is. hey, tramp, what up? What up, tramp? What up, T-hat? What up, cuz? Oh, I use the tramp, cuz. That's how we talk. 
So I'm allowed it to, to slip up. Just like he, they call cigarettes. Now, I'm not tripping. You not from my hood. Like, cuz I'm hood. And you, you double down on the apology immediately, cuz. And we boys. Then he talk about, oh, we met at No Jumper. Man, come on, cuz. You just doing whatever. Now, if I get to really going crazy because I had you crying, cuz I could tell you something about all type of shit, man. On hood, I've been sparing niggas, cuz, because I ain't even finna bring other people into their problems, though. On 16 crit, like, nigga, on hood, I, I can really just have you not want to go home no more. Everything was good until cuz homies got in his ear. This nigga talk about, I didn't have nobody in. Uh, he was the only nigga standing with me. First and foremost, I'm from Oakville, Crip, nigga. I'm, hood, I'm from Rolling Six. I'm from Oakville, though, cuz on the dead homies. The niggas that was popping it, not from OH, cuz. I'm hood. None of my big homies even beam in on the situation, cuz. Who was against me, cuz? Some young niggas that's outside homeless, nigga. I'm hood. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about no nigga opinion. That's what them niggas, oh, he caught, he caught. So what, nigga? I've been saying so what since I was a young nigga and, and asked the homies, nigga. Dead homies, I've been a rebel. I'm hood, nigga. If I ain't violate or nigga disrespect the rules of crypto to where I need a DP cut, leave me alone before I do something to you. Dead homies. Nigga, I'm a one man band, cuz I'm hood. Can't none of these nigga man on hood. I'm a one man band though, cuz I don't even like niggas. Hence, he talking about, oh, you just, I be just getting niggas off the phone. On the dead homies, nigga. I right, get a nigga out my face, nigga. On the hood, me and DW, we just met. Oh, we need to do a song. We need to do a song. Probably not. Let's figure each other out first. Oh, yeah, I'm going to meet you at the studio. I'm going to say whatever. I'm going to say whatever, nigga. Hence, Nipsey, when he tells the, like, the shit that happened to Nip, hey, you'll be better off just throwing the nigga off and going on about your day. Yeah. If you don't fuck with him, you ain't got to argue with no nigga about not fucking with him, nigga. Uh, hey, yeah, all right, I'm going to meet you over there. Psych. So what you, know what you I mean? uh, so what you feel about the whole the whole situation? Because he brought something up about the whole owning or trademark and crip. So like that that you want to address that right there? Because he mentioned something about you trademark and crip or some shit, and brought big you name up in the shit. Like it just it seemed like it was messy. Who? Oh. BW in the uh back on I trademark crip. Yeah, he's something about one of your homies trademark crip or. Uh, you own the crypt some shit and took it from Big U or something along those lines. Cuz is reaching, nigga. My auntie owned the word crypt, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. I ain't take nothing from Big U, nigga. I'm sick, so crypt, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? Oh, look, the reason that I ain't even pushing that shit is because a nigga. Me and Unk talk, nigga, and nigga, I ain't going to talk about all the other shit. That ain't for the internet, but it wasn't healthy. Like, how they obtained the word, it involved a lot of foul play, and I didn't know that. And my auntie being a crip, it blew my mind. She from Broadway. Like, how is you even, like, why would you do some shit like that to obtain the, 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 the word? You get what I'm saying? But, yeah, I definitely got some type of ownership still of the word, though. But nigga, uh, look, he do too though. Big you. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, niggas gotta niggas gotta understand, bro. Niggas is generals, bro. All that small fry shit he talking about, nigga. This the thing. Nigga getting up on platforms because they got another platform coming speaking shit that don't know about, gang. You don't know about it. Just shut the fuck up, gang. Hey, real shit. Don't hood. Don't hood, mind your business. business. Nigga, the fuck is you doing? Like, nigga, oh, six, so niggas mad because they can't even get in them type of situations. Like, nigga. You niggas ain't, man, look, I'm hood. Nigga, put Crip Street on the shirt, nigga, on the hood. I'm suing. Dead on the real kind. 6-0. 1960 so, uh, Crip, nigga, on hood. Hey, speaking of Big U, with all this bullshit going on with, with Big Homie Name. We ain't shit, finna make this one of them. No, 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 never that. Never that. I just want to put right, this. So what was you about to say? We can't just keep talking about cut, though. No, no, we ain't going to do that. Uh, I just want to say, you know, just from the outside looking in, first time I heard of Big U was some positive anyway. Because way out here, we heard about the whole football program, the the uh, developing options. You know, most people that know them know about that. So when I'm sitting back watching this bullshit go on now, I ain't going to lie. As a, black, 
as a black man who got kids who believe in helping other kids and doing shit right for kids, that 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 shit hurt because you know this man really doing his due, try, trying to make shit right. But you constantly got people trying to tear the man down. He got a son in the NFL, just as a little homie. How like where's your like? How you feel about that situation? Somebody got to do it. That's what I like. Somebody got to go take the community over, nigga. It ain't going to be, you know what I mean? Somebody got to be bold enough to go even in the in to business with the people and still keep it hood. But if it's funding for the youth and the nigga got to go to college to obtain the funding and, and, and get to it, uh, a nigga taking the courses, all right, before we had developing options, the swans, the Swan family bloods, Eastside Mass Swan blood gang had developing options in our hood. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So we was letting the funding go to some Damos for our area and they wasn't pouring the money back in the area. I don't know what they was doing, but they were doing bare minimum because it's not their hood. So they can't really navigate those streets like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro got word, cut take the class, he get the little shit. Cuz always been there. I mean, cuz give back. Like nigga, niggas that been down. And then did 10, 15 years and all that shit, nigga, when they get a chance to finally put their feet back on the ground, they always got something great for the community in the back of their mind. But how many people executed? So it's like somebody got to do it, cuz. Uh, his, his name ain't came up in nobody's paperwork. You know what I mean? And shit, ain't, he ain't sitting on the stands, nigga, when the homies fight murders and all that shit. All he doing is when they come home from jail, they get a job. The kids got funding for school and shit and, and, and football shit. I don't see nothing wrong with it. No, facts. And I feel like that's the issue I, I'm taking out the shit too is like people making a big deal out of nothing. All these conspiracy theories and that shit for the birds. But it's it a nigga good. doing it damn near in every section of LA. Like every hood got or they can if you know how to go get it you could go through the city and go get that funding for your area. It's not you know what I mean? And it's not only funding. It's just a whole lot of opportunity. Courses, re-entering, you know what I mean? Uh, jobs, housing. You know what I mean? The whole nine. You mentioned the A, and that 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 I was going to ask you that anyway. So the biggest difference between Atlanta and L.A., what would you say? Because I heard you say the A kind of gave you your game. What was the biggest difference outside of the gang shit? Because that's the obvious. There's hustlers out there. It ain't no trappers. We robbers and them niggas hustlers. Bro, look, ain't no ain't no honor amongst thieves. Them niggas slide me to the motherfucker too because it's more unity out there than it is like, you know what I mean? Anything else. And then like the black neighborhoods, they are governed by blacks. Like it's hold it's black police in the neighborhood. It's not all black police, but it's black police in the neighborhood. It's black owned businesses everywhere. It's black on black, black homeowners. Black everything, cuz, and it's all, you know what I mean? Like, all that Family counts. Oriented. Because, nigga, like, when have you ever seen a black man in position? I don't know, you from Oklahoma, but in LA, you don't have a black man in position to offer jobs in the neighborhood and own a liquor store here and all that. Like, cuz, we missed that way. We let all the Asians come buy up everything and do what they was gonna do with it. Cuz, lack of knowledge, I guess. I don't know, or just LA being expensive and the crack, the crack era coming through the crack uh, epidemic to where that shit tore down a lot of families. You know what I mean? If it wasn't, if it wasn't the hard working grandmother that died and left the house to the mom and them that was on dope, which left a blank in between the mom's generation and the next kid's generation. Now you having kids off crack, you'd have lost the family properties. Ain't no generation of wealth get, being built. Now it's a whole restart after the crack shit. Now, all right, fuck that. We gonna give niggas 10 years for seven grams of crack. You get what I'm saying? So now you take it away even more. You get what I'm saying? Like, let alone y'all put this free base in the, in, the, in, the, in the community and people loved it and couldn't bounce back from it. Now that the, the CIA brings it down here. We're going to give y'all triple the time. We'll give y'all for some soft that everybody getting caught with in the white community. You get what I'm saying? So now you taking niggas away from their kids for 10 years and all that. So, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's where the black 
everything slowed down. Yes, a few hustlers, spot, spot, spot. But if it wasn't for the bank robbers and the jury store robbers, we wouldn't start robbing the Mexicans for the bricks. Like, we was getting bundles from them at first. They not fucking with us no more. You get what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. So it kind of right. tore down, like, it, it, it just like, okay, everybody had millions early 80s all the way to the mid 80s. Then like, boom, crack. Everybody, nigga, the hustler started smoking crack. All the niggas that had millions, nigga, they living on the corner telling the story. You like, damn, he might still got an old Cadillac that's beat down that he had from when he was, you you know the story, yeah. nigga. No, you just right. seen it out there too. Happy birthday the long way. His birthday was yesterday. The Pee Wee Longway connection. Uh, I mean, we hear you talk a lot about, you know, the A and things like that. But when you speak of Pee Wee Longway, what's the first thing that come to your mind? That's my brother-in-law. Shit. I don't know. A fat cheeseburger looking nigga with gold teeth. <laughs> Butter ball. Waffle ball. Hey. He we nah, did uh, a the he lost before. weight. I can't even call him that. That, little, that nigga wear my size, nigga. When I first met Pee Wee Longway, but the first thing when you think Pee Wee is money. Yeah, thanks. Money. We finna make a gang of money. Nigga on hood. Pee Wee Longway, nigga. We finna make a gang of money, nigga. On hood. I was with cuz when we came up with the name Longway, nigga. Oh, uh, you know, we was rocking the racks the long way. We ain't folding the motherfuckers or nothing, because we having so many racks in our pocket. The girl like, why you just don't call yourself Pee Wee Long Way? We was making Twitters. And Cud uh, just, you know, we was calling Cud Lil P at first. Um, uh, are we? That's Lil P. I'm sick show. I'm shouting out Long Way, man. Nigga, in the other song, I like, that's my little nigga. Yeah, I call him Lil P. Uh, Activist shotty, yeah, he thirsty for the leg. Cause I used to call Cub Big Thirsty Cub when we was drinking. Cause we used to be so thirsty for the juice. But nah, yeah, when I when I hear long way, I think nigga a whole lot of laughs and a whole lot of money. Cause I've been knowing Cub since what oh six. I got with Cub when he came on from the pen. That might have been oh seven, oh six or oh seven. But every year I had got shot in my tailbone. You got shot in the A or L or uh L A. No, I got shot in L.A. both times. I just was already to, living in the A when I got shot. Right. I was already back and forth. So I heal up in L.A., bounce back, go back. You feel what I'm saying? So would you say I that had A moved to the A when I was 17 for school? I had graduated school at 17. So I was already up there. I got shot the first time when I was like 19. I was uh, on Slauson. Slauson at the gas station. You know what I mean? And the, Second time I got shot at the liquor store. So I, That's why you say you ain't standing outside. <laughs> man, I'm not standing outside. Oh, blame me, nigga. You tripping, nigga. Uh, and nigga, both times I was fully equipped, nigga. You can't see everything. When you talking and interacting with everybody, you can't see everything. The first time, car to car. I don't know what happened. It was a lot that went on. They found a gang of shells. I just happened to get hit. You know what I'm saying? Can't win them all. That's how it be, though, man. You don't, you know, like you said, you can't see everything coming and niggas waiting to catch you off guard. So, hey. No, nah, I so think we, we both was on guard the second time. You know what I mean? Just, nigga, you know, they happened oh. the land one. Why is it Woody, man? I remember you talking on uh, the thing the other day. I'm assuming you. Already knew these motherfuckers from the A anyway. So when you when you were talking about Woody and shit, is that the Woody you remember back then? This goofy character on the internet, or is that something you didn't see coming? No, nah, Woody quiet. He goofy than the motherfucker, but usually he quiet. Woody really with that 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 action though. You know what I mean? Yeah, Every is. time he was, you know what I mean? Like shit, a little nigga worse. Him. He 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 about what he talking about. You know what I mean? That goofy shit he doing now, I don't know. He, hey, that shit goofy, but he the best to ever do it and get away with it, man. Best to ever did it and get away with it, man. Because at the end of the day, why is all them other niggas on trial, nigga? And I'm sitting right here telling you, man, I did it. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. And the sad part about it is you can tell that shit fuck with him. And anybody can see from a mile away that that he fighting something and whatever he's saying, he means so 
It's just a crazy situation. You know what I say? I say he ain't fighting it. Cuz is uh cuz is showing Jeff. He saw a little Jeff that he could have ended the whole play. If he yeah. wanted to, like, look, nigga, I could have ended your whole play. Nigga, yeah. nigga, I'm hood. Nigga, I did all that shit, nigga, for the benefit of us. And you went to go put me on blast. You got me hot by the police. And then, nigga, cut me off and stopped. Because these niggas is like that. And I ain't saying thug, but thug probably did it, un like, unknowingly. Like, you stop fucking with the homie. He go to jail. He come back home. You just acting like you can't be around him. Like, he got shit on him or something. Like, you know what I mean? And I don't know what happened. They might have knew he was telling our, I don't know. But Cuz basically was like, look, nigga, I can fuck your life up right now. You see what I just did? You know what I mean? Like, but I'm going to take the case, nigga. Watch how, you, work. Watch how you, you play with a nigga from now on and shoot me some money, nigga. Oh, hey, hey, I remember pretty I was pretty. a kid and I got caught with a gun. And my cousin, rest in peace, TM, oh, six up for West Boulevard. Cut was the driver. Cut let me out. I get on. I tell Cut to let me out on the dead end so I could jump through the apartments and go to one of the apartments. Cut, Cut dropped me off on the other side of Adams, like by the church. I jump through the church. I get on. Long story short, I short. I have to go another way where I didn't have nobody else to jump into. Then I'm jumping over gates. The motherfuckers breaking and shit. So I go lay up up under a car for like hours. Cut, you get what I'm saying? Uh, the police, the police finally catch up with my game, and uh, they like we know, uh, we know TM. They said his last name, but I ain't finna say it right here. Like we know TM told you to take the gun and run. I was like sixteen, seventeen at the time. We like I know we know TM told you to take the gun and run, and uh, I don't know why he'll do you like that. Uh, but if you sign right here and say that, we'll let you go right now. No case, right? I'm like, man, if y'all know that happened, just let me go. Y'all know I can't sign that motherfucker. <laughs> like, nigga, it's my blink. We going to go get it fixed. If they keep saying, I'm like, man. I'm like, he like, so is that what happened? I'm like, man, if you you sound like you know what you're talking about, I'm like, shit, just let me go. You know what I mean? What I got to sign something for? <laughs> and they it's like, man, here. nigga, we... They like, nigga, is you gonna write it? Is you gonna say the same bit? Fuck no, nigga. I don't know what you talk about, nigga. I don't hood, nigga. They end up taking me to juvenile hall. I got out later on. <laughs> but nigga, that's basically when I see him doing it. When he said what he said, I'm like, damn, that's crazy. But he's going way too far with it, like taking interrogations and all that. I was like laughing at cut, playing cut, like to the left, like, well, shit, you know that much. Let me out, Mr. Know it all. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, what's your relationship with Gordy, man? I, I, to be real with you, man, I, I love that relationship y'all got, bro. Y'all been like this. If y'all do have a disagreement, it ain't for the world to see. That's, that's that right Frederick. through friendship. We won't be having no disagreement. Sometimes Cub be moving too fast, so he be moving by himself. Shit. Won't yeah. be having no disagreement. That's my look, nigga, to the end. Uh, I just, you know, I'm already hot. So it's like, nigga. Go heal up, cuz. Uh, if you can't be 100%, nigga, don't come in the field with me, cuz, cuz, nigga, I go crazy. You know what I mean? So it's just like, nigga, he been healing up, getting it together, running his money up. Oh, uh, uh, you know? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they shut down the no jumper activities, but he just dropped the project. You know what I'm saying? That's that going crazy. Uh, shit, we building kill squad, building kill squad. That's what we doing. Hey, that's crazy. That Kill Squad thing went viral off of one moment, bro. Like, hey, bro, you a genius, nigga. Like, I don't think <laughs> you know, I don't think niggas give you the credit, bro, for being a trendsetter and kind of coming up with shit off the spot. Minus the bullshit. That was a genius marketing plan. I don't I even know if you look. knew in that moment that was going to blow. I didn't did even you? know. I, I didn't know, bro. I'm telling you, like, uh, in that moment, I, uh, was just popping it and shit. And then when everybody got to DM me, like, kill squad, put kill squad in the street, put kill squad in the street. I'm like, oh, man. 
it's changed the narrative on his kill squad shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck that. We gonna be an anti cyber bullying gang. Like, we bully the buddies. You get what I'm saying? And nigga, only because like, uh, what I was going through was a form of bullying. If my skin wasn't so tough, I could have tapped out. You get what I'm saying? So it was like, okay, you nigga trying to bully the low, nigga. You can't bully me. So it's like, fuck it. We an anti cyber. We gonna bully you niggas then. You know what I mean? You niggas the buddies, okay, we on your ass, cause I'm six so and you know what I mean? Like I just was at a party, a birthday party the other day. It's six, seven ops in that motherfucker. They like, what are you nigga? That kill squad shit crazy, blood like like on my head, blood like let me get a mask, blood like you know what I'm saying? Like on the dead homies, like nigga, nigga, the ops love me, nigga. Like, nigga, I've made it somewhere. Like, nigga, I've never thought that this would be the type of time that we was on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Nigga, the ops showing love to me. Oh, uh, nigga, that, you know what I mean? So it's just like, huh, this shit bigger than just rolling 60s and all that shit that's going on. Like, and that'd be another reason why I feel like everybody, like, speak their peace or hate. They wonder why they words and they movements don't hit like mine. But mm -hmm. they can say it's because of No Jumper. Before No Jumper, I was causing real ruckus. Where your mind at with this big U Nipsey thing, man? It just seemed like bro can't catch a break. And then I honestly it's fucked up because I feel like it put other people like you in a situation to damn near be forced to talk about the shit when in all reality man. you might not want to talk about it or even yeah, even though it's it's just like the DW situation. I'm gonna just give him what he wants because I ain't said nothing about it. Like I just gave it to you. You go ahead and put it up here and let them nigga, react to that. I already was done talking about it. I ain't say nothing on the No Jumper show. I ain't said nothing. I'm done talking about that type of shit. You know what I mean? And then the Nipsey shit, it's like, bro, it's so many. It's going to be conspiracy theory. It's still conspiracy theories that Tupac is still walking around here somewhere. You get what I'm saying? Like, legends don't die. Yeah. You get what I'm right. saying? They don't die because, you know what I mean? They going to keep their whole shit alive, whatever the case is. So, you know what I mean? No, a motherfucker, uh, uh, just as far as the Sam shit go, like a motherfucker, Sam, you can't control how somebody morphs. Let's start right there. However, Big Bro gonna mourn, he gonna mourn. Me and Cuz got into an altercation not too long ago, maybe last year, like exactly yeah. a year, a year and a month from, because they just had. Sneaker con again. So we got to an altercation of sneaker con where he disagreed with some of the shit I was saying online, whatever, however we handled it. You know what I'm saying? And then we talked for two hours, cuz. So, you know what I mean? Like, and I kind of got to the root of how he was thinking when I was talking to him. He hurt. Yeah. It was a series of events. He not saying that that series of events is what led up to Nipsey's demise or, you know what I mean? The tragic ending of Nipsey Hussle, you get what I'm saying, or in the flesh, because he ain't gone. You yeah, get what right. I'm saying? So, uh, I feel like the Cali shit might have, might have, uh, irked him a little bit. I don't know what happened. I was in jail, so I, I can't even tell you exactly what happened, but I could tell through. Through his 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 emotion when he speak about the shit that whatever happened with Kelly seemed to happen like right around the same time as Nip's death. So that's what they was mad at. That was the last thing they was trying to get to the bottom of in the area. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So in his head, it's fuck everybody that has something to do with it. I doubt that he was saying. And then he never said Big U name. In at all, ever. So, you guys took, and when I say you guys, I'm talking to the consumer. Y'all took what came out of Sam Sam's mouth and added on to a conspiracy theory. Then you got bitch ass loose Kenny, cuz gonna get up and say, "Oh, I told you I was right. I'm the truth." And that 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 and that that hey. that nigga's like a real retard, cuz you know what I mean, like a real sped stupid. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, cuz shit don't even make sense when he talk. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, he like, and then 
he damn near told you, don't do no crime because I'm going to expose you. I'll snitch on you. That's basically what he was saying. He's like, yeah, I'm, it's 2024. I'm exposing everything, so don't do no. Yeah, don't do that. Like, basically, nigga, what you saying is, nigga, on the dead homie, that nigga, you'll tell on the nigga because if he, if he do some type of crime. Yeah. Like, right. nigga, so basically, he... Uh, that ain't where I was where I was going with it, but yeah, basically you exposing ass nigga, snitching ass nigga. Say big, you did have something to do with Nipsey Dutton. That Black Sam don't say nothing about it, and don't nobody else don't say nothing publicly. Why are you bringing his name in the middle of it as a cop? Let the police handle their business. Or if you feel so strongly about what's going on, it's street justice. Anybody can get at anybody. You saying that you putting up on niggas and all that, and you be at Crenshaw. So why you ain't handled your candle yet? Yeah. You get what I'm trying to tell you? But it's niggas like him, it's the six hundreds and all the other people that are pushing open cases and pushing like exposing shit. Like you know what I mean? Like making shit a whole lot worse for the world to 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 like be receptive to. And I don't know if that sparked the outbreak to where Eric, somebody will find their way to Eric and he going to speak his piece like that. Black Sam speaking on it could be the reason why everybody gets to speaking on shit. You get what I'm saying? And I doubt, I, and that's why Black Sam didn't really drop names and events and all that shit because he really wasn't trying to start nothing, but he was telling his piece. This is his first time he spoke on it. You get what right. I'm saying? Me being respectful for both sides, that's how I'm going to put it. Because at the end of the day, it's a conspiracy theory. I know Eric. I know Eric don't got a relationship with Big U like that. And yeah. I know him. So it's like, yeah, I mean, like, I doubt. I doubt it. I hope not. I don't know. I wasn't on the streets. You know what I mean? And that's just, I know, I know for sure that draws didn't have nothing to do with it. You, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I would hope that nobody sent him over there. I feel like it was a series of events that was taking place outside of Nipsey Hussle to where Nip might have just caught the backlash of whatever was going on around in the area when Cubs pull up to take a picture type shit. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't, I, I ain't watched the cameras. I wasn't there to peep the tension in the environment. So I'm just telling you what I think. It's just a whole lot of people like they 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 want the notoriety, but you ruined your whole rep as far as being a real nigga. Cause you know what I mean, like motherfuckers, I, I ain't never compromised that. A motherfucker, everybody want to lie, lie, lie. I ain't never stopped going live at the same time. I ain't never, nigga. I'm in the same bill, nigga. I'm going live at the same time every week, nigga. On hood, nigga. I know I don't do no bullshit, nigga. And I know what I'ma stand on, cause I love all these niggas that's throwing rocks and hiding on the dead homies. Hence, nigga, back on fig was not live. You get what I'm saying, nigga? On oh, six so and nigga, my whole thing is cause if a nigga wanna have an interview about break baby, nigga, oh, look, let me be there, nigga. I could have pulled back up the back on feed. We could chop it. Six so Nigga talk about a nigga a liar, nigga, nigga. I ain't lying about nothing. Nigga talk about, oh, we was just laughing and shit at the party, bro. At the party, cause you was drunk and you was playing with your nose or something, gang. Oh, six so if you would have seen the energy. Between me and the homies that was standing there, we was talking to you. You was explaining to Conrad, this nigga, this nigga, DW, was explaining to Conrad, oh, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't. Like, be real. What was you doing in that party? You was breaking it down to the homies, gang. Because we was in there gang thick. I'm not tripping. We, me and Cuz talking. I'm like, bro, leave that alone, Cuz. We talking, but we both, we all like, Cuz. I'm hood. We not here to talk about that shit. And that's what we, when I left, me and homies came to the understanding, like, cuz got an underlying problem with this shit, cuz. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, and that's our boy, so nigga wasn't never thinking to blow cuz down or beat cuz up, but it's eating cuz up that he slipped up and started all this over his his, 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 his choice of words. You know what I mean? Oh, facts. You know I mean? Honestly, man, the internet blew y'all little situation out of proportion, bro. Like, I mean, we we grown-ass men. We all slip up, do shit, say shit that can offend another grown-ass man. But what make us grown-ass men is when we can talk about that shit, apologize, and keep it pushing. I don't look that at niggas. That shit has been over. 
That yeah. shit that been over. That nigga whack. That nigga whack played them niggas right up out of job at no job. It do seem oh, like uh, that. nigga, you came in talking about you don't need no jumper. You was cut from the Tuesday show. Nigga, y'all kept it up. Everybody kept it up. Nigga, he shut down everybody's show. Then anybody that'll pay you twenty five hundred to five thousand to come on the show that ain't never did no numbers whatsoever is crazy. You get what I'm saying? Like nigga, it's crazy. Like a nigga tried to say that niggas didn't have nothing before no jumper. Nigga, who me? Like nigga, do you know who I am, nigga? On oh, hood, nigga, I just started all type of historic shit, nigga. On oh, hood, nigga, me young thug and long way, nigga. We like nigga the root of a whole lot of sauce. Nigga, we started the dab. We started the whole up. We started, nigga, dripping it, nigga, all that shit, nigga. Jay Money started sauce dripping and all that sauce all over me, nigga. My pack started all this shit that everybody's still running with, nigga, 10 years, 11 years later, man. Oh, uh, it was, we wasn't doing the social media go lives and tell alls and all that back then, nigga. We was still kids thugging, cuz, oh, uh, the niggas was just running with our program, nigga. Oh, uh, look. Niggas wasn't booting up off Molly. We started the word boot, nigga. Steve-O, me, Steve-O, long way, nigga. We started space boots and booting up, nigga. On oh, hood, nigga. The, the dab wasn't called the dab. We used to call that bitch the carete. Cause on the dead of it, we used to get in there on fire. Carete. Hey, I do think so. It, nigga, all the niggas that, like, nigga, the Migos and them, they lived in our spot, the lobby, nigga. The lobby is our spot. Running around the lobby, lobby runners and all that, the lobby is 24-24 Silver Road. You get what I'm saying? Then we moved to the Nunu around the corner. And we got another hill on, on, on Silver, nigga. I do at the Red, though. Rich the Kid, Offset, nigga, Skip, uh... Shy Glizzy, Jose Guapo, all them niggas. Shy always has some money. He ain't let there, but nigga Guapo and all them niggas. They used to be at the spot. We used to be recording at the spot, getting all right, cool. And, and you didn't have to be broke to get caught over there. You could just be on the vines. That shit was like a real dope house. Nigga might, nigga might just be getting high for a week, fucking with us and be there. You know what I mean? No facts. Even before so, time, me and QCP, we like this. Nigga, back before QC and all that, nigga, we was out thugging outside when he just had the recession for P chain, nigga. On the dead home, he's like, nigga, we really like are the heart of a lot of shit. So for a motherfucker to say what I didn't have, what nigga on hood, my whole first mixtape is all Metro Boomin. Yeah. Then like a couple niggas off the internet, but nigga. I got like five songs on my first mixtape, Metro Boomin. Second mixtape. Two, three songs, third, mate, like just my boy. Like we started all this. Nigga Metro was thugging with us when he was 21 and booming. Nigga Sony Digital, nigga, nigga 808. Like, come on, cuz. I could keep going. Even Waka Flocka, like my my shit just goes back and back with the Atlanta shit. Then even in LA, like we had started so much with the culture as the road of 60. Like, nigga, who are you talking about? Didn't have nothing, nigga. Oh hood. We started the jerk, which Long Beach took over and wanted to make it they did. Like, we could just keep going. Like, nigga, I'm a staple. Nigga, on hood. Nigga, S ball and them. Nigga, we all started that together. Oh, hey. Nigga, the neighborhood swag dance. Cause that shit was not called the jerk. Oh, you talking about that jerk song? I'm a jerk. All that. The whole Long Beach I took the whole movement and started doing the reject and all that. that we was just doing the jerk part on hood. But it wasn't called the jerk. Damn, I didn't know that shit. I'm learning something new right yeah. now. Yeah, man. So it's like I'm very innovative when it comes to just culture. No, facts. No, can't nobody take that from you, man. You've been around for a lot of a lot of different movements, started movements. Hey, your name still rings bells, man. And, and one thing I will say about you, man, anytime it looked like you finna get knocked off your spot, you come right back in that motherfucker. And can't hey. nobody take that from you. Real. <laughs> Real <thing. laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so what you uh man? Look, we are gonna wrap it up. But what else? You, you something you want to let the people know that you just need to get off your chest real quick? Oh, uh, don't be late, cuz I'm sick, so ain't nothing on my chest, nigga. Y'all niggas don't be late, nigga. That shit say a lot, nigga. Wake up, nigga. Oh, uh, nigga, you better be the first nigga up, nigga. First nigga eat, nigga. Don't be late. Don't see late. 
It's the brick, not the trick. It's plenty more content coming. Tap in, man. And you bum ass niggas on hood keep running them views up. Nigga on hood. I'm gonna give you something to talk about every time, P. You understand me? Kill squad in the streets, man. He sticks to the chat. Ah. Hey, give me your handle so they can find you. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can find you anyway, but just in case. Oh, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I ain't did that in a minute. <laughs> it's Brick Baby, man. B R I C C Baby on Instagram and YouTube. My TikTok, you'll find it. It's like Brick Baby clips and some shit. You know what I mean? Going crazy. But you already know, man. Stay tuned in. Nigga, new music coming all fourth quarter. We dropping. No Jumper Cypher finna come out. Yeah, nigga, we doing a joint venture project after Blue Jesus. It's gonna be, nigga, it's some shit going on. Me and Adam got a gang of music shit going on, man. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna swing the momentum back that way. I'm gonna just start responding to you niggas and songs from now on so niggas can leave me to fuck along. <laughs> hey, go download man, that. No y'all want y'all response to your name? Go download that. Motherfucker. You know what I mean? Oh, real shit. Real shit. Hey, man, this has been another episode of the Smokey Show Healthy Conversations with Brick Baby. Don't be late. We'll be back with another one. This Brick, not that tree, eh? Oh.